Now, after understanding the theoretical concepts on column and uh, struts, let's look at a very basic question on all these concepts. So, the very first question this says uh, second story of a residential building has a column whose dia is 10 cm and is 3 meters long. So, I don't know whether this column is of some practical value or not, but there is a column. Alright, so column dia is 10 cm and the length of the column is 3 meters. Both the ends are hinged. So, this is the end condition given to you. Find the buckling load. There has to be a load over here. Find the buckling load that this column can carry when the Young's modulus is 2 into 10 to the power 6 kg per centimeter square. Okay. So, there might be some thinking in you to change this into Newton's per mm square. Just leave it as it is rather than convert this into centimeter that is an easier conversion to do okay so let's write down the given data uh, the diameter given to you is 10 centimeter the length given to you is 3 meter which is 300 centimeter it's a circular cross section it has a diameter so the moment of inertia would be that of a circle pi by 64 into d to the power 4 so this becomes pi upon 64 into 10 to the power 4. So, to take out your scientific calculators and this will give you a value which is 490.94 centimeter to the power 4. Okay. So, we are done with that. Now, look at the end condition. Both the ends are having a hinge joint. So, in that case, the buckling load is given as pi square ei upon length square. So just put in the values, very very simple, pi square, E is 2 into 10 to the power 6, moment of inertia 490.94 upon length 300 square. That's just the magic of your scientific calculation, it will be 10772 or 02.56 kg. So this is how easy it is. Nothing, you know, nothing difficult in this, but the emphasis, uh, the emphasis is to just remember the end condition. If you remember the end condition, it is just a formula based question, nothing at all. Okay, so I hope you understood this. Now, let us look at one more question on columns and struts. 